But let's see atoms lecture four in continuation. Last class we have discussed about radius of enthalpy. Today give heading speed of electron. Today give heading speed of electron. Right, speed of electron. All the formulas I am saying, just remind. Speed of electrons. When the electron is revolving from the same equation one and equation two, as we have derived the radius. Like that also, we can find the relation speed of electron in n orbit, right? So speed of electron in n orbits v n is equal to two pi k electrostatic constant k, right? Z atomic number is square charge of electrons by which orbit into Planck's constant, okay? Then by putting the value of four pi epsilon naught in place of k. You can get the formula Z is square by two pi epsilon naught. Pi will be cancelled, right? By two epsilon naught and H. Okay. Then that can be. Then that can be also by putting the value. It can be also C by one thirty seven. Means we are comparing it with velocity of light. By Z whole divided by n. You have to remember all the formulas, right? And putting the value of C by one thirty seven, you can get it is two point two into ten to the power six Z by n meter. Z by n this much meter per second. Means simple. If I will be giving in the question, it will be giving the atomic number, which element that will be given, and in which orbit it is moving given, then you can find its speed. Yes or no? And you know speed of light c is equal to how much? Three into ten to the power eight meter per second. As yes, yesterday you learnt about the radius, like that also you can find the speed of the orbit. And here you can see the speed is directly proportional to z. Yes or no? And here you can see the speed is inversely proportional to the orbit. मतलब जितना orbit मतलब care में जितना speed में घूम रहा होगा अगर थोड़ा बाहर चला जाएगा l पे एम एन फास्ट एडबिट सेकेंड एडबिट थर्ड एडबिट तो इसकी स्पीड डिक्रीज होते होते जाएगा और इसका रीजन भी जेन्यून है क्योंकि वो डिस्टेंस बढ़ते जा रहा है न्यूक्लियस से तो इसीलिए सेंट्रिपिटल फोर्स भी कम होगा तो स्पीड भी थोड़ा कम हो जाएगा राइट तो अगर कहीं पे स्पीड ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स और इसके बारे में ग्राफ बनाने की जरूरत पड़ी सो दिस इज वी एन एंड दिस इज जेड एटमिक नंबर सो द ग्राफ इज गोइंग टू बी ए स्ट्रेट लाइन यस एंड इट इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल बट इफ इन दिस केस Correct. It is going to be V n, and it is going to be the n, which are bit. Then it is inversely proportional. All understood? Understood or not? That means V n is inversely proportional to n. Is the relation के कारण ऐसा हुआ graph, और इस relation के कारण ये graph ऐसा हो गया. ठीक है. Just note it, students. Just remind because direct question needs to come. Yes, at yesterday I told you about radius. Today we are discussing about speed of electron, and I told you the formula. After discussing all the formula, we will go for questions, right? Then number three, pe, which quantities? Ki me baat karta hu. Jaise ki angular speed ki, right? What is the angular speed? Student, if you know v linear speed and you know radius, then you can find angular speed. Yes sir, no. angular speed is omega. Yes sir, no. And you know linear speed is equal to v is equal to r times of omega. So then omega will be equal to how much? V by R. Kirab ji, yes or no? Yes. So by putting already you got the value of V. By putting the values you can get V is equal to pi m z square e to the power four. All those questions things will derive after your turn one exam. Right now we are learning this one for J two thousand January attempt. Right. So that direct question used to come on this. So by getting Taking all the fixed parameters, pi is constant, mass m is constant, epsilon naught is constant, charge of electron is constant, Planck's constant is constant. So you see, two variable things are here. That is what that is z square here, and n to the power q here. So directly you can write the dependency omega at any orbit is proportional to z square by n q. You have to remember this one for the questions that used to come in the J and E. Okay. Got the idea about angular speed? Yes or no? Next number four. Let's go to frequency. 
frequency frequency f but you will write here new students you know omega is equal to 2 pi nu do remember omega is equal to 2 pi by t omega is equal to theta by t for complete one rotation theta is 2 pi and time taken to complete one rotation is time period so just be that getting or not yes so that is 2 pi f and in phase of frequency we are taking nu right so from here nu will be equal to how much omega n by 2 pi in nth orbit frequency in nth orbit is equal to omega n by 2 pi correct so by putting all the values you will get m z square e to the power 4 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught not pi will not be there right 4 epsilon naught square n q h q in the same way also you can write v n is proportional to also z square by n q in the above case it was also angular speed was also like this and here frequency this is new right not v this is new is frequency understood number three and number four, four formula all wrote sir what is z frequency is reciprocal of time period yes or no so if sometimes you may ask you what is the time period for a particular element if it is moving and time period you know t for n orbit t n is equal to how much 1 by nu n so if I'll be reciprocating the things then 4 epsilon naught 4 epsilon naught square n q h q Planck's constant is at m z square e to the power 4. So finally you can get t n proportional to n q by z square correct. Here z square by n q just reciprocal n q by z square. That means he will be giving you two let let he has given two elements lithium and nitrogen like that he has given and orbit also he has given first orbit second orbit or third orbit then you can compare their time period yes or no such type of question you are going to face next you can also find all the parameters i am deriving here you can also find angular momentum yesterday i told you about angular momentum mbr yes or no angular momentum in the nth orbit. What is the angular momentum in the nth orbit? You have also learned about angular momentum in case of your planetary motion, gravitation. Then angular momentum in nth orbit is equal to mass of the element, velocity of in the nth orbit, radius of the nth orbit. By comparing this one, we can also, I told you also, Planck's constant, nh by 2 pi is angular momentum. So by comparing everything, you can see ln is proportional to n in which orbit it is moving it is not dependent on mass it is not dependent on speed frequency velocity it only depends angular momentum of any element depends on in which orbit it is moving so angular momentum is proportional to orbit correct number six keep on writing with me then students corresponding current is the particles are moving yes or no rate of flow of charge and Q is equal to IT. Yes or no? Corresponding current, if it is asking about the corresponding current, right? So I is equal to how much? You can write, just write here, corresponding current, corresponding current, one question you may ask, that is IN is equal to how much charge into speed, right? So by putting this value, m z square e to the power 5 divided by 4 epsilon naught square n q h q that means current in that particular depends on z square atomic number by n q in the same way it also depends right yes or no next magnetic moment what is the formula for magnetic moment anyone can say Rosri, what is magnetic moment Hmm. What is magnetic moment? Amen. Kirabdi, forgot magnetic pole strength M, ampere meter. Magnetic yes, sir. Meter. Just remember everything. So, magnetic moment is equal to how much? I N current into A area. That is I N into area of that. If N third bit it is moving pi R N square, right? And here, mu naught is equal to eh by 4 pi m 
that is board magnet turn we say we'll derive all those things for the subjective exam magnet but simply remember magnetic moment also depends directly proportional to number of orbit n right just remember this one then magnetic field if current is flowing then magnetic field will be there or not in a circular what is the formula for circular coil magnetic field mu not by 2r yes or no yes so if in from that magnetic field b can be also mu not i n current equation equal to got by 2 into radius on enthalpy so by comparing that one you can get pi m square z q e to the power 7 mu naught divided by 8 epsilon naught q n to the power 5 h to the power 5 by comparing finally you get b proportional to z q by n 5 that is the question whether the students know or don't know about how the magnetic field varies for let a part let a element is moving in third orbit and, and again it jumped to the fourth orbit what will be the change in magnetic field then you can find here b is proportional to 1 by n to the power 5 so in, from 2 or second orbit to third orbit 2 to the power 5 and 3 to the power 5 you will take the ratio you can know what is the change in magnetic field understanding thing or not all wrote Students, next right, potential energy. Next right, potential energy. Correct. Students, an electron possesses some potential energy because it is found in the field of nucleus. Yes or no? And potential energy of electron in nth orbit is given by, right? So, like the one electron possesses, right? An electron. possesses some potential energy an electron possesses some potential energy because it is found because it is found in the field of because it is found in the field of nucleus potential energy of electron in nth orbit potential energy of electron in nth orbit of radius rn of radius rn is given by u is equal to k z e into minus e charge of electron by rn potential energy k q by r yes or no so that is k 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is k atomic number z is square by rn understood potential energy how to find of an electron in orbiting in a particular orbit can you find or not next next right kinetic energy right kinetic energy correct right electron possesses kinetic energy electron possesses kinetic energy because of its motion because of its motion hai na? closure orbits will be having greater kinetic energy than outer ones yes or no you know or no yesterday I told you yesterday closure orbit because more less distance is less attractive force will be more electrostatic so right closure orbits have greater kinetic energy greater kinetic energy than outer ones than outer ones right so students kalmane batata centripetal force that is necessary centripetal force is the reason of electrostatic both are same electrostatic ke karan ye move kar raha hai aur jab circular path mein move karta hai to ek centripetal force aata hai so, we have compared the kinetic energy that is equal to k electrostatic constant z e square by 2 radius r in n. Yes or no? See here, kinetic energy is k z e square by rn. Here, k z e square by 2 rn. That means kinetic energy is equal to half of potential energy. Is that clear to all? If we have kinetic energy, we will remove the potential energy. If we have potential energy, we will remove the kinetic energy. 
Yes or no? Yes, sir. Just write. All are writing or not? Here, see here, one minus sign will be there, right? You know, gravitational potential energy minus uh, Z M1 M2 by R. Electrostatic potential energy minus K Q1 Q2 by R. Yes or no? And this is not R to the power N actually. Just wrote like that. This is Rn. This is Rn, है ना? ये Rn है. कौन सी और रिपीट में जा रहा है? ठीक है. तो स्टूडेंट अभी हम टोटल एनर्जी के तरफ चलते हैं, राइट? लेट्स गो टू द टोटल एनर्जी. की वैल्यू टोटल एनर्जी मींस काइनेटिक एनर्जी प्लस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी. लेट्स गो टू पोटेंशियल एनर्जी. टोटल एनर्जी. दैट इज टोटल एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच काइनेटिक एनर्जी प्लस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी. करेक्ट? And should you know the that is equal to E is equal to how much? You got minus K Z e square by two R N. Yes or no? And you know R N is equal to how much? What is the formula for R N? N square radius H square epsilon naught S W. We found out pi mass atomic number into charge of electron. So hence, students, you can put the value of R n here, and you can get E is equal to how much minus m e to the power four m e to the power four divided by eight epsilon naught square h square whole into z square by n square. Correct. And let's solve it a bit. So there is minus m e to the power four. Divided by eight epsilon naught square C H Q, velocity of light, Planck's constant, into C H Z square by n square. We are trying it to bring it into a format total energy because it is not possible to remember all the formulas Z square by n square. And if we we'll put the value of R, R is Rivard's constant, right? This यहाँ पर मैं बता देता हूँ. So that R is जो m e to the power four था ना eight epsilon naught square and C H Q ये जो था that is equal to R that is Rydberg's constant R Y D B E R G Rydberg's constant बस value अगर हम पूछ देखेंगे तो one point zero nine into ten to the power seven meter inverse इसका value put करेंगे velocity of light you know three into ten to the power eight And Planck's constant. अगर तीनों को मैं मल्टीप्लाई कर दूं, तो R C H का वैल्यू हो जाएगा. Just just one minute. R C H का वैल्यू अगर मैं पुट करके मल्टीप्लाई करूं, तो that is thirteen point six eV. हमें इसको याद रखना होगा, क्योंकि पूरा जब वैल्यू हम लिखेंगे, तो कितना लिखेंगे एनर्जी का? Minus thirteen point six Z square by n square electron volt. ये याद रखने वाले चीज है. हमेशा आप इसको याद रखोगे क्योंकि ये हम कैलकुलेट करने वाले हैं हमेशा माइनस थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स जेड स्क्वायर बाय एन स्क्वायर ईवी बिकॉज इन द क्वेश्चन नथिंग विल बी गिवन टू अस एक्सेप्ट द एटॉमिक नंबर एंड इन फ्यूचर अर्बिट इट इज मूविंग द इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑल गॉट दिस वन स्टूडेंट्स गॉट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द एनर्जी ऑल गॉट एंड डॉट अंडरस्टूड दिस वन कि रब दी यस And and you know total energy is equal to negative of kinetic energy that is minus that is u by two yes or no? In the above we derived na, kinetic energy is equal to half of potential energy. So then total energy agar minus kar denge to kya ho jayega? U by two ho jayega na? Getting students? Getting or not? Total energy just straight all. Student, see in the question you will be giving. Let in the fast uh, ground state is the element is move the electron is moving in the ground state. That means n is equal to one means what ground state now. In the question you will not give n is equal to one. You will say the the electron is in what is the energy in the ground state. Let he is saying n is equal to two. N is equal to two means what do you know? Fast excited state, right? Fast excited state. Student, what usually make the mistake? Fast means they put n is equal to two. No, n is equal to one means ground state. Fast excited state means n is equal to two, right? Then n is equal to three means which excited state? Second excited state. So in the question, you will be giving like these are the words, wordings of the question, and so on. 
Actually, if I'll be if I'll be seeing the variation of kinetic energy and potential energy with distance, see here. Here we already found kinetic energy is inverse proportional to one by n. Potential energy is also one inverse proportional to one by n, but here negative, right? So sometimes he used to ask the graph between the energy, how the kinetic energy and how the potential energy, right? This is energy. This is kinetic energy proportional to one by R. This is R positive, yes or no. But potential energy negative was there or not? So it will vary like this, correct? So potential energy is proportional to one by R. Understood how the kinetic energy and the potential energy varies? Students, let's do some examples on this basis, right? So the question be dia why which level of right the question which level which level of the doubly ionized lithium doubly ionized lithium has the same energy has the same energy is the ground state has the same energy as the ground state energy of the hydrogen atom energy of the hydrogen atom you have to solve many question to know the application of any formula right or usne ye bhi diya hua hai compare the orbital ready of the two levels compare the orbital ready of the two levels correct yes sir no student let's see its solution what he has given the question first understand Student, total energy in the nth orbit. What is the formula of total energy? Energy ka formula kya humne dekhe abhi? E proportional to z square by n square na? Say E proportional to z square by n square. Yes or no? Just now we found that one. So here he has given doubly ionized energy of doubly ionized lithium and energy of hydrogen. Correct? So let's take z square by n square of lithium is equal to z square by n square of whom hydrogen correct yes or no hydrogen helium lithium what is the atomic number of lithium students three now three or no? yes sir, three so it will be three square which nine by n square is equal to atomic number is z ground state of hydrogen given that is n so that is one by one correct so by solving this, you got L, how much? N square is equal to N you got. So N is equal to how much? 3 you got. Na? 3, yes. That means you understood. Na, agar lithium ki, doubly ionized lithium, if there is a third orbit, then the electron ghoom raha hai, to uska energy level is equal to the energy Hydrogen ki ground state is equal to the hai. Understood? N is equal to 3, we have to So the question can be given first excited, second excited, third excited. So which one is correct? First excited or second excited or third excited? So n is equal to three means which excited? So second excited. But in 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 hurry students put third excited because n is equal to three third excited. Understood? Understanding the question or not? He is also asking again, uh, radius ko compare karne ke liye. Also compare usne diya hua orbital radius. Okay. So orbital radius, the radius of nth orbit ka kya formula hai? Again, radius of nth orbit. Radius of nth orbit. What is the formula for radius of nth orbit? R proportional to manikal batata n square by z, correct? Yes or no? R3, because third orbit me ja hai. R3 of lithium by R fast of hydrogen. So that is n square by z of lithium then n squared by z of hydrogen so that is n square is 9 well 3 square is 9 by atomic number 3 
twelve hydrogen one. So what is the ratio? Three, na? Understood the whole question or not? Can see here another question. What is the angular momentum of an electron in both hydrogen atom whose energy level is minus three point four AB? Hydrogen atom दिया हुआ है तो Z is one. So energy level क्या हो जाएगा? Minus thirteen point six by n square. Correct. EV. और ये energy कितना दिया हुआ है? Minus three point four दिया हुआ है. So that is equal to minus thirteen point six divided by n square. So from here you got n square is equal to how much? See four. And n is equal to how much? Two na students. Yes or no? Yes. And what is the formula for angular momentum? N is equal to how much? N h by two pi. So, here n value kya put karenge? Two put karenge. So, that is is equal to how much? Two into h by two into pi. So, that is how much? H by pi. So, you got the angular momentum. Got or not? Yes, sir. Just note it. Let's do another question, students. <laughs> Let's see another question, example. He has given the electron in a hydrogen atom, right? The electron in a hydrogen atom. The electron in a hydrogen atom makes a transition. Makes a transition. N1 to N2. हमें नहीं पता कौन सी ऑर्बिट से कौन सी ऑर्बिट तक पहुंचा रहा है. For N1 and N2 are the principal quantum numbers of two states, right? Where N1 and N2 are the principal quantum numbers are the principal quantum numbers of the two states. Of the two states, right? So assume the Bohr model to be valid, right? Assume the Bohr model to be valid. The time period of the electron, the time period of electron in the initial state. The time period of the electron in the initial state is eight times is eight times that the final state. Eight times that in the final state. Correct. What are the possible values of n one and n two? What are the Possible values of n one and n two. Correct. Let's see the question. These questions, students, I'm saying you again and again. These are not difficult questions. But what happens? Student used to think these are difficult. But direct question used to come on this. <laughs> Makes a transition from n one and n two. The principal quantum numbers so assume Bohr's model to be valid. The time period of the electrons in the initial state. Is in the initial state is eight times that that in the final state. So let's see this one. So you know, students, time period का formula हमने बताया था मैंने आपको क्या था formula time period का? N Q H Q by four pi square k square z square e to the power four m. मैंने ये भी बताया था कि सारे याद रखने की जरूरत नहीं है. Time period proportional to n q. Yes sir, no. है कि नहीं students? So, two ka time period T1 by T2 is equal to how much? N1 Q by N2 Q, na? And he has given T1 is equal to how much? Eight times of T2. This is given in the question or not? Students, given, na? So, you can put N1 by N2 to the power Q is equal to eight. You can put or not? Students, then N1 is equal to how much? Two N2, na? All got or not, students? Yes. 
सो फिर अगर हम रूट ओवर निकाल देंगे तो क्या हो जाएगा रूट ओवर निकालने के बाद एन वन इज इक्वल टू एन वन सो क्वेश्चन में ऐसा तो नहीं है कि वो पॉसिबल वैल्यूज पूछा होगा सो द पॉसिबल वैल्यूज जो भी चार ऑप्शन पे दिया होगा उसी तरह आपको टिक करना होगा ऑप्शन में द पॉसिबल वैल्यूज ऑफ एन वन एंड एन टू जो भी दिया होगा स्टूडेंट्स अगर एन वन इज इक्वल टू टू दिया हुआ है तो एन टू कितना होगा वन ना ये पॉसिबल हो सकता है राइट अगर एन टू एन वन इज इक्वल टू फोर दिया हुआ है मतलब बहुत सारे पेयर को दिया होगा कौन सा वाला सही है तो टू फोर की रेसियो में आ जाएगा और एन वन इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एन टू इज इक्वल टू थ्री वो थ्री सिक्स को उल्टा भी कर सकता है टू नो वेदर यू आर डैम श्योर अबाउट द सोल्यूशन और नॉट एन वन इज इक्वल टू टू एन टू ये वाला समझ पे आ गया क्वेश्चन सोल्यूशन क्वेश्चन दिया हुआ है हाउ मेनी टाइम्स हाउ मेनी टाइम्स डज द इलेक्ट्रॉन गो राउंड द फास्ट बोर अर्बिट द फास्ट बोर अर्बिट of hydrogen atom is one second question ko samajhna bahut important hai usne ye diya hua hai ki kitne times electron go round matlab ek second mein electrons kitna jata hai to ek second mein jana matlab kya hai number of cycles per second that is frequency na yes or no and you know frequency of revolution is how much velocity in nth orbit by 2 pi into radius of nth orbit correct or not yes sir so so it so it is the number of revolution in one second matlab question mein kya pucha hai usne ye pucha hai ki it is the number of revolutions that is made in one second number of revolutions in one second right and it can be given as which orbit hydrogen atom first orbit yes sir no and it can be given right it can be given as for n is equal to 1 orbit of hydrogen atom so that is f1 is equal to how much value of pi you know students Yes or no? Then speed, fast orbit का speed velocity. We can find the value of speed in the fast orbit. You can find that one and that value is two point one eight into ten to the six by two into three point one four. Or hydrogen की पहला radius r की भी formula हम पढ़ चुके हैं तो ये zero point five two nine into ten to the minus ten. तो पूरा solve करने के बाद कितना आएगा six point five six into 10 to the power 15 second inwards yes sir no velocity in the fast orbit of hydrogen you can find the radius of the hydrogen in the fast uh, fast orbit radius you can also find these two values you can remember for hydrogen actually the basic things you will remember so that the calculation will be easy for you in the exam so this is the answer to the questions